Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel, Path to Wellness. Today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get great at doing pull-ups, even if you're a beginner and you've never done a pull-up before. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. And real quick before we get started, I wanna mention that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you'd like some extra help, you can go ahead and send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram, and those links are in the description box below the video. All right, let's get started. All right, step one for being able to do pull-ups and getting great at doing pull-ups is you need to get in good enough shape so you can hang from the bar. So if you can't yet hang from a bar, it means one of two things. Either you're, maybe you're too heavy, you need to lose some weight, or you just don't have the strength. So First thing you want to do is get in a good enough shape so you can start hanging from a bar and then practice doing that every single day. See how long you can hang from the bar. That's going to help build up strength to get to the point where you can do pull-ups. So I'd suggest just watching my other YouTube videos. I have a lot of videos on what I eat in a day, how to, get, how to lose weight, how to get in great shape. Start off with doing all those, watching all those videos, following some of the steps, and you'll eventually get to the point where you can hang from a bar. So that's the first thing, just practice hanging from a bar, don't even worry about doing pull-ups yet. All right, step two is the assisted pull-up or the chair technique. I'm gonna demonstrate right here. It's where you can either use an assist band to help carry some of your weight, or you don't even need to have that, you just have to have a chair. And here's how you do it. Stand on the chair, jump up, and let yourself down as slow as you can. And just keep practicing those until you get really good and strong at letting yourself down. So that's step number two. Step three is the halfway pull-up. I'm going to demonstrate it right here. This is where you pull yourself up about halfway. And then you go down. So just keep practicing that step until you build up more and more strength. All right, step number four is the full pull-up. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate, when you're doing a full pull-up, you wanna go all the way up, chin over the bar, all the way down, lock out your arms. I recommend full range of motion, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. Now, once you're able to do regular pull-ups, I'm gonna tell you two ways on how to increase the amount of pull-ups you can do. One way is you just, you're doing a lot of reps, you practice at it, and you're gonna get stronger just from doing pull-ups. So practice them every day, try and break new records, and the more reps, the better. The second way is you can do weighted pull-ups. So throw a weight, a weight vest on, put a dumbbell between your legs, whatever you want to do, but start doing weighted pull-ups and you'll be doing less reps, but that's going to get you stronger. And then when you take off the weight, you'll be able to do, in the long, in the long run, you'll be able to do more pull-ups. So those are the two ways to increase the amount of pull-ups you can do. I was able to increase them by adding weights, doing weighted pull-ups, and then once I did it without the weight, I could do more pull-ups. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure you share with other people who might be interested. And we'll see you soon on the next video. Bye-bye.